Welcome back, everybody. We apologize. We just don't seem to be getting it right. It's very, very difficult, unfortunately, for the uh, chair of the Integrity Committee, George Mashamba, to hear us. He seems to be battling with the, the sound in his ear. We wanted to talk to him about the ANC's decision to set up a commission that will look into the ethical issues plaguing the organization. We'll get into this. We will have this conversation. I just don't think we'll do it any justice uh, if we go ahead and try again with, uh, with Mr. Mashamba. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the stories that uh, are jumping out at me this morning that we may not be covering in our news. And this one, listen to this. A painting by Gerard Sukoto called Portrait of a Man has sold at a Bonhams art sale in London for £380,750. Now, let me tell you, that is nearly seven and a half million rand uh, if we have to do the conversion. Absolutely amazing. So Kota, who lived from 1913 to 1993, is widely recognized as a power for black South African modern art. Another one of his paintings, three schoolgirls fetched £308,750 uh, or just six million rand. Now, the director of the, uh, the, the, the uh, art house of the South African sale has said that the sale has demonstrated the continuous growth of popular interest in South African art with particular enthusiasm for artists such as Jaron Sokolto. I mean, that is well done. Absolutely incredible. So seven million or seven and a half million rand for the portrait of a man by Gerard Sokolto sold in London. Now, we're focusing this morning on some of the, uh, the, the, the tweets that we've been looking at, and they're basically focusing in on whether or not state capture is the right way to describe these commissions and what we've been seeing here in South Africa. Now, our former president, Jacob Zuma, is saying absolutely not. State capture is not the way to describe it. The state is made up of three different elements, and uh, it, it, it can't be state capture. That's what he is saying. It's the wrong way to describe it. And it's been quite interesting to see what some of you have been responding to. I'll read a little bit more here, basically saying this is uh, the news story that we're running. Uh, our former president says South African state has not been captured. He is still sticking by that. He addressed SASCO members at the Walter Sisulu University in the Eastern Cape. Uh, the former president says the judiciary, the legislature, and the executive are not not captured. We have a commission that is sitting investigating state capture. Is the state captured? He goes on to ask. My view, and I am not disagreeing with anyone, this is politically decorated expressions. Absolutely. There is no state that is captured. Even when people try to describe it, when giving evidence, there are some people who are doing things with others individually. Not a single of the three is captured. So, you know, that is, that is uh, the views of our, our former president. And he is certainly uh, got uh, a lot of people talking and we'll share some of those tweets with you a bit later. So apparently what we've done is we've uh, now got George Mashamba on the line, ANC veteran and chair of the Integrity Committee. Uh, so I hope it's better now. Are you able to hear us properly? Uh, George, are you, can you hear us, George Mashamba? No, hello. I can hear you now. Excellent. Good. I'm glad we've got you. Unfortunately, we just got a very short time with the interview, but let's just get straight into it. So the ANC deciding to set up a commission looking into ethical issues that are plaguing the organization. Why? Why bring up a commission now to look into this? The question is where we... The commission has now to do what we usually do, salvaging the past, confronting the present, and then carrying the future. We have to learn from our forebearers that the, the, the ethical choice that we have taken upon ourselves, it is to force for justice to remove all social, economic, political, and theoretical iniquities so that all the social factors are able to be together as one. Okay. And when they, we met with the, with the, with the leadership yesterday, they voiced a day, and they gave us a brief as a new commission, and the tenth of preference. Then we had some deliberations, and we have decided to have a workshop in due course so that we're able to build on the foundation of the previous commission going forward so that we are, in the long run, able to establish and ensure that the ANC 
It's an organization of integrity. It's an organization that has the necessary authority and the respect from the people. Who is funding this, uh, this commission and, and how will the panel actually be constituted? Hello? Who is funding the, uh, the, the, the commission and how will the panel be made up? The organization will be funding the commission, obviously, but will be acting as an independent entity away from the, from the Tudor House and the We'll be looking into issues that will, should be done to ensure that we are able to continue on the path that the labor are for the world. And the panel, how will that be constituted? How do we? The panel, how will it be made up? The panel of the commission, who will it be made up of? The panel of the commission will comprise of, a, of veterans, including... I was the old veteran, Andrew Langini, Esop Jassad, Sophie De Brain, Bridget Mabanda, Cyril Jankis, Father Swan Jun Kasho, Cindy Zenfanyana, well, Sue Ratkin, and including myself as chairperson. Okay. Now, the ANC says okay. it, it, it's concerned about its reputation, but some of the people in the organization's front line have been impl impl implicated in, in, in wrongdoing, uh, the, the likes of uh, Pule Mabe, we've got Kedani Mahlango, Ace Mahashule, uh, and many other names. Doesn't the organization have a principle that says a person must step down until matters are resolved purely for the organization's reputation? We are aware of all the, all the problems that confront the organization. And we are aware also that when, in the course of the strike and the counter revolution, things have not been so failing. But what we are going to do now, we are going to focus mainly on making sure that when, we have an organization that's able to produce people who, when deployed to various areas, both in the public arena and also in general in society, are people who will be act as role models. At the same time, it, it's true that well, those who go out of the line will be, will have to be dealt with accordingly, according to the constitution of the, of the ANC. But the main thing that we see is important is not necessarily to focus on individuals. For us, it's like when you've got a, 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 bowl, a bowl of apples, one or two of them get rotten, then it takes them out, another one gets rotten, take them out. It won't help that. We have to look in the body itself and see whether it is it's not infected. infected. It's not the one who actually produces, making sure that they're able to get rotten. So our focus now is to make sure that we're able to engage in activities that will ensure that the agency is able to produce people who are, able, uh, who are of in ethical integrity, who will be able to ensure that uh, we once more retain the respect we uh, integrity that will be to start the expect of us. All right. Unfortunately, we do need to leave it there. We will invite you again. Hopefully, when you're in Johannesburg, please, Mr. Mashamba, we would love to have you here seated in studio so we can talk more about this. There's so many issues we need to talk about. Uh, George Mashamba is the ANC Ethics Committee Chair, talking to us a little bit about the organization and its stance on ethics and integrity within its members. Unfortunately, we had to uh, give him a call. We weren't able to talk to him via the link we had set up, but uh, we'll get him in studio. I think it'll be better to talk to him face to face. But we thank him very, very much for his time. It is 7.